everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. So spring has arrived, kinda. Judging from the fact that it snows like every week still, it really hasn't arrived for us yet. So it's kind of been like on and off spring and winter weather. One of the things I'm looking forward to the most in spring is being able to go outside without having to bring a jacket. However, that's not happening right now because it's gonna snow this weekend again and I just can't. One of the things that's been helping me deal with this crazy weather is my love of outerwear. If you're like me and you can't wait for warmer weather to arrive, I wanted to give you some ideas on some cute light outerwear to maybe help you feel a little bit better about it not being so warm yet. I have a couple pieces of outerwear that I usually tend to go for in the spring and honestly this is one of my favorite parts about it not being so warm yet because I do love the variety you can get in like jackets and blossoms and I just wanted to give you guys some ideas on cute outerwear you can buy while you're still waiting for the hot weather. If you're new to my channel, welcome! My name is Saki and I make videos every single week about cute and girly fashion. I do a lot of hauls and I'm planning to do a lot of style videos as well so if you're interested in those things please hit the subscribe button down below so you'll never miss a video. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about is denim jackets. I think denim jackets just look super cute for spring and it keeps you a little bit warm in case it's like windy or chilly outside. I have a couple denim jackets to show you that are my favorite. Of course the first one is just a blue denim jacket. This one is actually from Forever 21 so it's one that you can basically find everywhere. Just a quick disclaimer before I start, almost every single one of the pieces I'm about to show you have been bought not this year so they're not available right now. However, I will leave links down below of things that you can buy currently that are very similar to the items that I'm showing you. So like I said, there's always the blue denim jacket. I just think this light blue color goes with everything during the spring. I love pink and white, obviously, but I do love throwing little pops of light blue into my outfits. So I just think that like a denim jacket is really cute. This one obviously is really plain. I mean, it's got a couple like rips here and there. It doesn't look like something I would normally wear. However, I do really love the contrast of like grungy I guess that makes this jacket with my outfits really unique so I don't know this is definitely one of my favorites I've had this for years and years and years so I keep going back to it every spring and I just think it's super cute and it keeps me warm so yeah. Alternatively, if you're looking for something a little bit more Himekaji style, Liz Lisa does do denim jackets every single year. I got this one last year in 2016, and it's just this really cute light blue denim jacket, and it's got this like lace ribbon on the side. And of course the collar is like in a sailor style, so it makes it really, really cute. I love this jacket to death. The only reason why I don't wear it as much as the other one that I showed you is because it doesn't have pockets, and I feel like I really need pockets and jackets because I like to keep my car keys and stuff in there. However, I do wear this one like a ton a ton so I think denim jackets especially the ones that are already embellished and like really cute from like Liz Lisa and stuff it's just a really good way of like staying cute and warm at the same time I haven't purchased any other denim jackets from this year but I know that they have been releasing a few so I'll definitely leave them down below like I said if you wanted to take a look at the ones that Liz Lisa have right now if you're not a fan of blue there are other colors of denim out there I don't know if it's technically called denim I guess but the material feels like the same what I'm talking about is this white and and pink denim jackets that I have. So this one's from Liz Lisa and this one is from a brand called Bobon 21 and I bought both of these last year. I actually bought this one secondhand so I'm not sure what year it's from but they are really cute to style with any spring coordinate and honestly one of the things that I think I'm frustrated with the most during these transitional months is that I don't want to be like full on winter. I'm tired of my winter clothes so I don't want to wear like a full on winter coordinate however I do find like some outerwear doesn't go with my spring stuff. However I do think jackets like this especially like light colored ones go really well with all my spring dresses, go really well with floral, and I don't know, I'm just really happy that I picked these two up. If you don't want to splurge in an expensive denim jacket from a Japanese brand, you can still find really cute ones, like this one that I found from Forever 21. Actually, this was just a plain pink denim jacket, but then I put these like ribbons on it because I wanted to like kind of mirror the style of my Blue Liz Lisa jacket, and I think just by adding this touch of ribbon, it's really made this jacket more in a Himikaji style, and I think it goes really well with all of my Liz Lisa dresses, so. So the next style of jacket that I want to talk about is blousons or bomber jackets. So if you're buying from Liz Lisa, they are called blousons. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I don't know. In the U.S., we call this style bomber jackets. This is the one that I have from Liz Lisa. I bought it last year again. I bought this one during autumn, so it's not even a spring item, but I do really like to wear it during the spring. It's like thick, but it's not too thick, so it's perfect for those like transitional days where it's like kind of cold, kind of not cold. I think that these look really, really cute over dresses, and they can be really comfy. Sometimes I feel like denim jackets are really structured and you can't really move around in them. However, usually bomber jackets and blousons are like made out of a really like... 
I don't know, not flimsy, but like movable material. So they're really comfortable to wear during the spring, especially if you're like going out and doing activities because you're tired of staying in during the winter. This is definitely one of my favorite jackets and I'm wearing this one a ton during the spring. As always, I'm showing you my cheaper alternative. This is a bomber jacket that I bought from Forever 21 last year, or maybe it was two years ago, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure they still have stuff like this, so I'll link it down below if I can find it. But this one's a little bit more lightweight than the other one, so I wouldn't wear it on the terribly like windy days or anything, but it still does keep you warm. And I love the embroidery on the jacket just because it reminds me of spring. It's like florals, so it goes really well with like my floral dresses and stuff. And I think bomber jackets are just really cute and fun, and also really casual as well. So I just think that these jackets can go with a lot of different outfits, and I think they're great for transitioning into spring. So I've been talking a lot about casual outerwear, and now I want to talk about like a little bit more fancy outerwear for maybe those nights you're going out or events that you're going to that you might want to look a little bit more dressed up. Obviously, I've talked about trenches a lot because I really do love trenches, but yes, it's trenches. I do think trenches are really elegant, and I just think they have a certain, I don't know, kind of classy vibe to them. This one that I have here is from Liz Lisa. It's just in like a standard beige trench coat color, and what I love about this one is that it's actually like a shorter length because it is from Liz Lisa, and it's obviously so you meant for people who are a little bit shorter. This jacket would look really cute for an evening out over a dress or over whatever it is you like to wear when you go out. And you can style it with pumps, with heels, like anything really. I mean, you can even style it casually, but I do like wearing trenches a little bit more dressed up. If you're a fan of pink like me, they do make pink Liz Lisa trenches. So hopefully as I'm showing you all this, there are some available to buy right now, but if there aren't, I promise you that you can buy something on secondhand websites. I'll try to link a few of the secondhand websites that I like to shop from. Just in case that there aren't any brand new items that you can buy right now. Anyways, like I was saying, I just think that a pink trench coat is really, really bold and such a cute look for spring and for transitioning out of winter. I just think that this is definitely a statement piece and you'll have a lot of fun wearing something like this and it'll make you feel a little bit better about it not being hot outside. The last type of outerwear that I wanted to talk about is my absolute favorite type and it is the moto jacket. I've also seen people call it writer's jackets, but I call it a moto jacket. These are the moto jackets that I have and these these are only four out of like six or seven that I have. I have so many, as you can tell, I really like them. These two that I have right here are from Liz Lisa. This one is in a suede material and this one is in a faux leather material. I think that these jackets just bring like some sort of like edginess to like my girly outfits. As I was saying with the denim jackets, I really do like having like some sort of contrast, especially when I'm wearing outerwear. I have some that are in like really soft faux leather. I have some that are in like really sturdy faux leather. I have some that are in like soft suede. I just think that there's so much variety in like the colors and the styles and even in materials. My favorite one is actually this baby pink one right here and it's not Liz Lisa, it's Forever 21. I bought this one maybe one or two years ago and I wear it so often. Like it's kind of wearing the sleeves a little bit but I just think it looks really cute over literally any outfit and it's just in the perfect baby pink shade for me. I love this jacket to death and I wear it literally like every day. This was super inexpensive as well. I think it was like around the $30 mark but compared to the Liz Lisa jackets which are around 90 or 80. I think this year's was like 80 or 90 dollars. I think that's why I didn't buy it yet. I'm waiting for it to go on sale still but I do really want this year's Liz Lisa writer's jacket. Anyways they're really affordable especially if you buy them in fake leather and they're just a really fun way to like spruce up your spring outfit while you're transitioning out of winter and into the hot months. So that's all for my video. I'm sorry if you didn't find it helpful. I just realized like while filming this that this is only going to be like inspirational or helpful or useful to people who are living in like colder climates like I am. If you live in somewhere like California, it's probably really hot there already, so you don't need like outerwear inspiration right now. But I do know there are a lot of other places like where I live where it's just, the weather's just been so crazy. Like, have you guys had this like crazy snow and then a crazy hot day and then a crazy windy day? Because that's what's been happening here basically. So I kind of needed a little bit of inspiration myself to keep wearing jackets when I just really want to go outside because all I've wanted to do is be able to step outside without having to wear one. But that's just life. You can't pick and choose. If you found this video helpful, please give me a big thumbs up and please let me know what you'd like to see on my channel. So I've been doing a lot of thinking about maybe doing some styling videos, like maybe like how I style something or I don't know, something like that. What do you guys think? Like, is there something that you want to see kind of like that? But I promise if you guys give me ideas, I'll work really, really hard to bring those videos to life and to bring you content that you want to watch. Anyways, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I upload videos every week and don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. As always, thank you for watching. Bye!